Hey guys, it's Richard here from rnbsinglessons.com. All right, I want to show you how Pitch Trainer works. This is for those that have already purchased it, as well as for those that are wanting to purchase it and see how it looks. So firstly, purchasing it, you come to the main page, you click choose plan, you enter your email, and it tells you the full price here. If there's a promo code, you can use the promo code just there, okay? And it goes with PayPal. So this is for one year, this current plan. That's how much it ends up being, but you do pay it in one go. So what you can do here, uh, using Pitch Trainer, you can press F11 on your browser and it goes full screen, or you can press F11 and it doesn't go full screen back, okay? If you want to use it on your phone, you can use it, but you got to click on the settings on your phone in the browser you're using, if it's Google Chrome or Samsung Internet or whatever it is, and select desktop version, and that'll allow you to see the app, the whole app instead of just pieces of the app. Uh, it'll be like zoomed out. All right, so let's log in. So we log in, just use your credentials. Okay. <clears throat> now we've got the single note page. Single note page, uh, I've got 19 lessons on my pitch trainer page. So I'm going to go through a lot of the things that happened there. So all you do here is you play a single note and you learn to match one note at a time for the complete beginners. Okay. Ooh, so I can see my pitch there. Okay. Ooh. When it's a straight line like that, that means I'm perfect. I'm right on pitch, okay? That's what you're aiming for. So you'll see we can uh, your pitch can go flat or sharp. So watch me as I go above or below. Ooh, I'm sharp, right? I'm above the note. Let's go flat. Ooh, I'm moving below it. Okay, so it's very sensitive. You have to be right on pitch. You can see here that the note isn't playing. I played it once. So if you want the note to repeat, which I recommend for beginners, you press repeat. You can also press L on the keyboard and that'll make it, uh, that'll press that button. See there? It's back to re single mode. Repeat. There you go. Ooh. If you want the note to repeat quicker, you can press the plus button or on your keyboard, it's the, also the equals or slash plus button and it'll make it move faster. Okay, if you hold it down, oh, no, it doesn't work if you hold it. If you hold this down, it goes quickly. And if you put it down, so repeat more often. Ooh, if you feel like you need that help, okay? We can take it off single as well. Now, these status markers here, they tell you where to go. So if you're too high, let's say I play this note. <clears throat> put down. I'm too high. You can see here the status markers tell you to go down. Ooh, tell me to go down. Okay, now sound too low. Ooh, okay, so you gotta slide up or slide down. Or if it's too hard, find a note where it's not too hard for your voice. Okay, if you have trouble sliding. So watch me slide. Oh, found it. So I'm using the status arrows to help me. Oh, found it. All right, and then it does like that thumbs up when you're correct. Ooh, in the center. Okay, so another the next feature here, uh, we just saw what the notes look like. A very common problem is people have shaky notes, okay? Shaky notes means you, you struggle to keep the note very straight. Watch. Ooh. See, I'm purposely shaking my voice like a beginner might shake their voice. It's very hard to keep it steady, but to sound really beautiful, you have to learn to hold very steady notes for short time or a long time, either way, okay? So you practice going, ooh, until you can get really steady, okay? Really steady on any note. Ooh. So I'm steady straight away. And for a beginner, that's much harder to do, okay? So that's the goal. Really steady notes. All right, you don't want to be shaky. Now, lesson three, range development. So range development, you got all this range to choose from. Um, right up to the really high C6 there. I'm not going to demonstrate that now. but So it's kind of mixed for males and females. This is a quite a large range that you'll hear in songs. So uh, I think this is plenty for you to use. Uh, to train your voice. That's the range development. Lesson four, vibrato. Now we can use these things here under the rhythm section to do vibrato. 
Uh, by the way, you can also zoom in and out of the program by holding control and zooming, scrolling forward, scrolling up ways, it will zoom in. Okay, and it will just, you can scroll down ways and it will zoom out. Okay, another keyboard shortcut is control shift, hold them and then plus, press the plus, plus button and that'll, oh, hold on, I got the focus in the wrong place. Press the plus button and that'll zoom in and zoom out. Oh, I'm not sure why it's doing that. I'll press stop. Okay. There we go. Plus. Oh, it's because it's a speed control. That one. Okay. Plus and minus. That zooms in and out. Now I'm on, uh, I think I'm on 100. Let's check here. Okay. That's on 100. But everyone's screen size is different. So it's going to be different for different people. Okay. So I'm just going to zoom in. So it completely fits like that. Okay. So back to vibrato. Now learning vibrato, it's very hard to do. So. A feature I created is the rhythm feature on the single note page where you literally just click one of these rhythms and it will double the speed that's written here. So if you're on 30 and you're playing a note, ooh, and you press repeat mode on, okay? Ooh, you learn to re-accent the note like that. Let's triple the we're gonna triple the speed now so just turn it off by pressing it again we'll triple it ooh, 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 ooh. you're learning to do that sort of bouncy motion four ooh, 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 ooh. okay now let's go faster press the plus button on your keyboard or on here ooh, 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 ooh. gradually Okay, so you go very slowly on every speed until you can get it comfortably and you can do maybe three, four reps comfortably of however many bounces you want. All right, we'll get faster, a lot faster. Let's see what it sounds like now. Ooh, you can hear my vibrato. And you can still see that I'm still mainly in the center of the pitch. Ooh, and I just vibrate around it and not too far away from the green. Ooh, there's vibrato. Okay, we'll turn the uh, assist back on. Uh, we can make it go faster, up to 140. That's as fast as it goes. Ooh, okay, that's as fast as you're going to use vibrato in a song. You're not really going to go much faster than that. You can use any vowel, uh, anything will work. Uh, All right, it's not the chart, you're just seeing, hey, are you still hitting center? Sometimes you're not really worrying about the bounciness so much, okay? It's not, it's more about just trying to hear the sound and copy that sound with the bounce motion start very slow that's very hard what i just demonstrated start very slow and learn to control it at all the speeds okay you should be able to control it at any speed watch i'll pick a random speed uh 60 here we go Ooh. i can control it at any speed okay uh okay here we go lesson five we've got acapella and assist okay now this is a toggle button. You probably saw me using it just then already. It turns the piano sound on or off. Okay. Once you can sing the note, you need to then try to sing it without the help of the piano. So let's go with the help of the piano. Ooh. Let's take off the piano. You can press A, by the way, and it turns, it toggles a cappella or assist. Ooh. Pressing A turns it back on. Ooh. It's back on to help me. Okay, at any moment you can just do that to help yourself. It's much harder to do it without the piano, but that's the eventual goal. Okay. Now here you can enter sheet music directly into Pitch Trainer. This is lesson six. Okay, so. <clears throat> You don't need any musical knowledge. How do you do this? Okay, so let's find some sheet music. You go to the websites. There's two websites that I use. They're, they're good web, oh. Common websites, okay, up here. You go musicnotes.com. All right, and your other website is sheetmusicplus.com. Uh, now, musicnotes.com is if you want to get the digital versions it's really good okay you can just go like one song at a time so let's go i believe 
Uh, let's go back at one by Byron McKnight. It's like the example that I used. So here it is, PVG. You're looking for the piano, vocal, guitar versions. Let's click it. All right, and you can purchase this one song on its own. It's $7 Australian, probably about $4 US, $4 or $5 US. All right, and you can see all the information of the song there. That's how you find it. This is very important. This is how I learned, like, checking notes, make sure my notes are right, and make sh and uh, also learning guitar. So then here we've got Sheet Music Plus, okay? Sheet Music Plus is great for albums. Let's say there's a Brian McKnight album you want to buy. You can just type Brian McKnight, and it'll give you... It does have individual songs as well. Um, does it have any books for Brian McKnight? Uh doesn't look like it. 100 greatest love songs for example it's got things like that um, let's see here it doesn't look like there's a book for Brian um, in in here there might be somewhere else on another website that you can look for but let's say we look up a musical Moana um, so we've got the PVG book for Moana it's 16.99 that's that's American and what you get is the whole album. You get the sheet music for the whole album. So if you really like Moana and you want to learn that, you got Where You Are, How Far I Go, We Know The Way, You're Welcome, Shiny, blah, blah, blah. It's got a few of the songs there. And that's what they look like inside. It's got all the sheet music. So you can literally learn any song you want from that movie by buying this um, album. Okay? And it's only $17. So I've got many of these books at home. I've probably got about... 20 or 30 of these books from my favorite albums all right i use them to learn guitar originally and to check some of my musical notes now let's say here we're gonna go back we've got back at one so i've just shown you here how to find it now alternatively you can also use the notes from scales so i've given you a page here of scales that you can use let's see here all right we'll find the page if you want to do this like exercises and stuff and you don't have to but if you want to you can and here's all the notes so it's on my website you can see that for free CDEFG blah 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 you can just program all these notes into the trainer all right <clears throat> so let's move on to our next step the next lesson here well, I'm going to show you how to do that soon so you can see the sheet music all right and hold on a second where are we up to which lesson lesson seven okay we're choosing a key signature to work in so we're gonna go to the song again and you can see here if you zoom in you can see the key signature here okay one two three four five you got five of these sharp notes near this treble cliff all you need to do is come into pitch trainer select key signature and find that similar one so here it is one two three four five this one all right we've clicked it there we go now all the notes have updated and we can see that the notes that are grayed out are ones that we don't play okay and the one the other rest are black or white all right and they're not grayed out so we can play those notes and they are in the key of the song <laughs> fit in the song see if you play a great one it doesn't sound quite right okay because it's off it's not um it's not a note that fits in the key all right that's going to help you find the notes and it also highlights the notes in the in the key meaning um <clears throat> sorry it also shows the notes of the actual um on the staff so here you can see this is the staff the five lines and it's got these notes so you can visually see them and you'll be able to copy them from the song you can see here so we can visually see them and copy them and be able to type them into our program all right so this is nice to work in here um, I'll come back to more details about that later so we've chosen the key signature and I've shown you how we can see the notes of the song so notes are always either on the line or between between the lines so this one is between the lines this one is on the line okay and you can see the lyrics as well there so let's say for example we want the first note of the song it's you can just sort of see it's on the first kind of line on the bottom line and it's in between the lines so let's find it here you can zoom in if you need to if it's uh, hard for you to see 
you can also zoom in uh, with pinch zoom on your phone uh where is it here here it is we can see it there it's in between the lines you can zoom in on the keyboard if you need to with control and you scroll up we've clicked it okay so that's the first note of the song it's there we go okay <clears throat> so now the next lesson after you've learnt how to find the notes like that is recording the notes from the sheet music okay now we're going to go to sequence mode so go sequence record new we're going to select the key signature of the song we were just in so it had five sharps so it was one two three four five select it okay and now we'll just zoom in a little bit now at this point if you've printed out the sheet music great you've got a printout of it if you don't if you didn't have a printed out what you can do is you can pull out this window and sort of put it to the side of the screen using a windows right button and that'll do that and then you can use hold this one and pull it to the left of the screen or you can use windows hold windows key and press left all right so now we can zoom in and we're going to record the notes of the song one at a time all right so we've got the it's so let's zoom in here on this on this um okay it won't zoom the sheet music in further so anyway um we'll go here so the first note is this one and then we've got the next one it's on the line on the bottom there so we we'll move up a bit looks like it's that one and then the next one we've got is just under that there now remember the, the cool thing is all the notes are going to be on the keys that you play now the next note is the same note repeated now it can be hard to keep track of where you're up to so it's helpful to write the lyrics as you go so we got the first it's un d nine now if you've got what's this thing here it's like a tie on the same note if it's the same note that it's tying to you don't enter that second note okay now if it's a different note that it's tying to you do enter it so just keep that in mind if it's the same note you don't need to enter it again so the next note we've got here that changes it's the uh okay um so we've got let's zoom in here on our keyboard the uh is here remember you only need to enter these in once you don't need to like uh, once to record it the first time and ball okay uh ball there we go we've got our first line of the song so we wanted to work on things one line at a time okay so we can get rid of that sheet music we can make this full screen now and what we're going to do is press stop record <clears throat> okay if we play it oh we can also yeah so we press play and if you make a mistake, you can press this button here and it'll undo the last note. Okay, so it's, that's going to get rid of the last note if I press that. Um, demonstrate. There we go. Just got rid of it. Okay. So if you press play. It's a melody of the song. Okay, we can use these controls to make it faster. So let's say we make it much faster. It's undeniable. Now, we want to check every note that we're singing, and that will happen mostly at the slower speeds, okay? Around about 80 and below, all right? So you should start at the very slow speeds. 30 is a good starting point. If it's still too hard, go down 20, 25, 20. 12 is the absolute slowest if you need, okay? Don't be afraid to go to the slowest to absolutely get your notes right if you're struggling. All right, so let's do a demonstration at 30. It's, oh, sorry, I'm singing a low octave because I'm a bit sick of doing my low voice. But anyway, let's start again. It's undeniable. See how I get to the center? That's the important part, getting to the center. Now, if you're like, if it's the graph is moving kind of vertically like that, don't worry too much about that if it's happening at the beginning of the note but then from there you should go straight okay because it's because there is like a movement between notes are you trying to get to the center as quick as possible once you've got that you can move faster pressing this will double the speed so that's kind of like moving at 60 if you press that it's 
ball. All right. So, oh, the ball's not there. So, you can see, uh, so do all the important work at this slow speed. All right. Once it gets faster, it, the chart is not going to be that accurate because the chart moves too quick. So, that's not what you're doing for. And the faster speeds, you're more looking for the... Um, matching the piano just by ear so the first important part and the whole point of the pitch trainer is to help you get perfectly straight notes steady notes at a very slow comfortable speed and then once you've got the notes and they're part of your ear and you can hear them then you move faster using the assistance of the piano that's the way it's designed okay that's the way i teach in classes and that's the way this is designed to work so let's say you've got it now perfectly like i just did there you can start to move faster move up by five see if you can still do it move up by five see if you can still do it if it's very easy for you and you're hearing it really quickly you can just let's say go at 60 and then press these ones here so for example it's Andy. and let's say it's too high uh let's keep going sorry you can just press the speed button see you can see it's moving a lot faster now okay it's undeniable. Okay. It's undeniable. Now, also at the slow speed, when you're slow there, what you do is you also press a cappella. It's on to take away the piano, and you can watch it moving, so you know which note you're up to. Okay. You can press repeat, so that it can loop, loop it, so it'll loop it when it gets to the end. <clears throat> okay uh let me just look at my lessons so you can you know you can see the notes here too so it's very visual this is lesson 10 seeing your sequence notes it's very visual you know which way do you have to go you're gonna go here up down 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 okay you can see the the notes which way they're moving all right um the next lesson was i'm just gonna go by the lesson so i can kind of keep this little structure you can enter the lyrics so we've got the lyrics for each of note and that's going to help you know what you're up to because when you're going so slow it's hard to know what you're up to but it's very important to sing the lyrics on every note okay um you can also get rid of the lyrics by clicking here and that will put them away if you don't want to see them you come back up here click it and they'll come back okay number number grouping is really important for like things like runs okay grouping things together so let's say you've got you can go one, two, three, um, one, two. So for example, that helps you like memorize groups of patterns that are together. Now this, we don't really need it for this, but it helps when you use things that are all on the same vowel, for example. It helps number for number patterns for long runs. And I'll do another lesson on that. Lesson 13, you can select and deselect notes from the sequence. So let's say you're struggling with the first note. You're just not getting it, okay? You can select it. Just like that, I just selected it. All right, so press play, and it'll just play that note. It's until you get it right. It's on repeat, by the way. Let's say I got that. Now I'm struggling with this note. There we go. I just selected that one. I get it right. Once I got that one, put them together. It's on. Okay, and work on that on repeat until I get it. All right, and then I can speed it up. To clear the selection, you come up here, clear. Now it's back to normal. We can see all of the notes again in the sequence. All right. Now we've got the repeat single mode, which I've shown you. Putting the repeat makes it repeat. Okay, so let's go play. It stops, okay? So if you press L, it'll set the repeat on. Press P and that'll play. All right, it's playing. <clears throat> so same thing with a cappella. okay it's just like the, the single note page you press a it turns it on and off and that'll turn the piano on and off okay so it makes it easier or harder so piano on it's it on piano off now okay you can turn it on at any time by pressing a or by pressing the mouse to hear the note that you're up to in case you're not getting it right very common thing when you take away the piano sometimes it becomes much harder and you get lost though as to what the note is so you just press a to hear the note so let's say for example i get lost here it's on. i can turn the piano back on at any time so let's say i got on acapella by the way pressing stop makes it go back to the beginning i got on acapella um acapella 
It's my note is wrong. I got the status here to help me. And I turn the piano on and it tells me where it is in case I'm singing the wrong note. Okay. Next lesson, we got the speed modification. You guys saw you can make it go faster or slower. It goes up to 140 and it goes down to 12. Pressing the button once makes it go up by five. Okay. And you can also type it in if you want. You can type 120 and then click away from the box to press play or whatever. Okay, you can't go 120 and then press P. That won't work because it'll do that. This. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so go 120 and then press play. For example, <clears throat> you can modify the key. Let's say this song is too hard for you in this key. So what you do, or you want to warm up your voice, you simply press simply press play. You can press down and pressing changing the key or the speed. By the way, will automatically stop the recording. So let's bring it down a whole octave if we want. Okay, down and it says down twelve now. I'll press play. It's on D nine. Let's say I'll get it, make it really slow so I can get it super accurate. It's on D. Okay, so we change the key. If I press up while I'm playing, okay, that's it too easy. I'll go up. It stops and you gotta press play again. Or you can press P for play. And uh, plus and minus is for the speed control. Okay, or it's the like, same as the equals and minus button, equals and dash button, and the open bracket and close and um, sorry, open bracket and close bracket is for the key. So that I'm pressing open bracket now, and the key is changing. So if you press open bracket, it'll go up, and then you press P, and it'll play. All right, and Q is for stop. All right, next we've got the rhythm buttons. Okay, so if I press the rhythm button, the speed will automatically multiply by two three or four but the speed won't actually change okay so the point of that is to jump quickly to the faster speeds and the faster rhythms uh, also it's just to make a more speed option so if we go to 140 and we turn and you just click it again to turn it off we'll press play it's it's it'll double in speed if i press this okay it won't stop the playing it'll just double it's it's on i'll make it go lower i feel like singing lower right now it's on it's on press three it'll triple in speed it's on it's on it'll quadruple with it it's on it's on it's on now see there it just had a performance issue where it lagged for a second it does that occasionally okay so there is some slight performance issues this is the best the developers could get it with all these features for a web app so please excuse the performance issues they might slow down for a second the notes just let it play so you can hear the top speed and go again remember you're not using the chart at these speeds okay so if you've got it on anything above 80 with none of the rhythm things turned on that's as fast as you can expect the chart to work accurately okay from there on you expect it to be using your ear if you can't hear it properly and you can't tell if you're in pitch you expect it to do the work at the slow speeds all right watch the slow speeds this is very slow 12 watch what it sounds like it's on. just take a breath when you need to and now absolutely no I'm on pitch and the research shows that when you learn things in slow motion that's where the quality work comes in and you're able to much quickly learn to go faster from there accuracy breeds speed if you're not accurate slowly you can't expect to go fast accurately beautifully okay you should be able to sing it as accurately as I just did then at that speed if that's too hard for you you need to practice there you got to do a few minutes work there and then go faster so one line of a song I expect you to spend between one and five minutes at least on this one line getting it perfect and that's going to set you up for success on every future line that you learn okay <clears throat> this is the way i teach my students i make them get every note right i used to sing it for them every note make sure they get it right so i, I was like oh it's hard to tell someone if they're flat or sharp and it's hard to always sing the note back um, accurately so a piano is always super accurate so that way there's no guessing the lyrics are there the notes it's visual everything is there it's much easier for you to learn and you can do it without having to have me there all the time so you can spend your precious expensive lessons um, working on harder and harder things because you can put that work in during your practice at home and do have much more efficient practice instead of guessing if you're right or wrong lesson 19 
Oh, we're already up to 19. Yes, we are. Okay. So you can practice creating your own melodies. Okay. So for example, let's go back to the single note page. By selecting the key signature, let's say we're still in the same one as this backup one by Brian McKnight. You can imp you can learn to improvise because now you know which notes are allowed to be used. Okay, any notes that aren't allowed to be used, such as that, will sound wrong. Okay, but sometimes they do have a place, which is why they're still playable, and they're called accidentals. Okay, or chromaticism or modulation, they've got different names. All right, so if you play um, a note that doesn't fit, it'll sound kind of wrong. So. A good way to practice another skill as well is for you to not just to improvise and make up your own notes and go and it's always gonna sound nice but another skill is hey can you figure out the notes of the song okay so if you listen to a song you're more likely to be able to figure it out and hear it because you got only the right notes to choose from so for example if we went to YouTube and played um, back at one, I could attempt to figure it out by ear because I've got only the right notes to choose from. Let's have a listen to it. Okay, so go there. It's undeniable. There it is. I found it. It's So that's a good way for you to practice figuring out notes because now you don't have to worry about all the other notes that are on the screen. Watch, let me show you how much harder it is when it looks like this. It's much harder. It's much harder to find your. It's much harder to find your note because you got all these extra notes to choose from. A key has, um, without the notes, an octave has. 12 notes to choose from but with the notes cho chosen for you like this using the music notes to help you find the key signature you only have seven notes to choose from one two uh so we've got b major so we'll go it's gonna be one two three four five six seven before we reach the next note whereas if we didn't use that if we played all the notes it would look like I'm just refreshing the page. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So much more notes, okay, before. So it's much harder to get to the melody. All right, something else in the single note page is you can actually see, you can measure how long you're holding your note for. So for example, ooh, can you see this green counter? And here in the record, it'll tell you that highest note that you got to. So I did 3.58 seconds on that note. Now, record doesn't count which note that you held. Okay, so if you want to get rid of that, you could probably just, yeah, you just press refresh. F5 is refresh, and it'll start it fresh again. So you can hear how long you're holding each note. Mm. Ooh, ooh, see, I'm coming blipping off. So it's super sensitive, right? And make sure you get the note right. Mm. Ooh, ooh, see, I just went a tiny bit off there and it caught it. So you got to be really accurate. I've designed it to be sensitive like that so you can learn to sing really accurately. I hope this has been an amazing tutorial for you guys. If there is any songs that do not exist in the sheet music and you can't find the book for it for the album, what does that mean? What do you do? Unfortunately, you are going to have to ask for help. So you can ask me for help for a small fee, depending how much you want. I can work out things for you that aren't in sheet music. Some notes for you, and no pun not intended, Sometimes sheet music is wrong for very long runs. So if you're an advanced singer and you want to learn a very long run, okay, sometimes the sheet music is wrong, so you might need help. So what you do is you ask me for help and I might charge a small fee, five or ten dollars, depends how my long it will take me. And I will give you the notes based on that with all the lyrics and the number groupings and everything. If a song doesn't exist, I can... If you need the key signature for a song, I can figure that out for you, okay, very quickly. That'll just be a very small fee. Um, if you need the um, the notes for an entire song, I can we can work out like what kind of a fee I will charge for that, depending on how hard the song is and how long it takes me, etc. Um, if it doesn't exist in sheet music, okay. So um, outside, but you know, once you have the notes, you can work on it alone. So you you're just paying for the app, and then from there for the web app, and then from there you can 
work out the song just for the fee of me for working out the song for you for my time all right i hope that's super helpful for you guys and you can see how this works you can see how powerful this can be um i'm gonna create more guides as how to use different things so let's do an example um we've got a scale let's say you want to practice a scale not a song okay you can just go and now you can check if every note is right so we'll number it here one two three four um oops, sorry five six seven eight now tab won't work here guys if you press tab it'll go to the number it will, it will go this way okay so what you got to do you got to use your mouse or your on the phone use your fingers to to um put the focus on the right box so it goes um horizontally okay let's say you want to work on that scale but it's a bit high you want to, let's drop the key okay we'll press play uh, we can save it so save current we can go here we go scale um major scale we'll just call it major major scale save so let's say I, I exit the app I can log in again on any device and I can come to sequence use saved and I can find major scale apply and it loads it up for me beautiful right so you can save anything that you do you press play uh, you can check if you're actually singing each scale correctly check your status here and you should be in direct center okay then you can work the scale up so that it's faster uh, sing it on any vowel any word now notice when it goes faster it starts sounding more staccato uh, 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 uh. i don't want you to sing it like that okay now unfortunately developers couldn't make it legato because they said all the features that i wanted they couldn't find the right piano feature piano um code or plug-in whatever or whatever it is to make it go legato so i want you to sing it legato so think of the notes they're helping you hear the notes in staccato you can practice staccato if you want to that's very helpful but i'm um, fine the final thing i want you is to be able to sing legato okay which, which means you should sound like this have a listen that should sound like uh, legato means you're singing the note till the end of the note there's no ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, there's no pause in between okay so you can learn it with the pauses and then the final thing though is you must learn it without the pauses all right very important okay um okay i think that's everything guys um if you have any questions please email me rashad h at hotmail.com and i um, hope you guys enjoy the app i spent a lot of money developing this and it was a lot of effort it's been several months of effort um years has gone into the ideas 500 hours of one-on-one -on -one teaching to create a method that's super powerful so you can learn as much as you can on your own that's the point of it so that when you so when you go for lessons if you still go for lessons if you can't afford lessons you can learn as much as possible but then if you do go for lessons you can spend the time working on harder and harder things and the quality of your practice is extremely high as opposed to problems i notice students have when they practice alone they can't tell their pitch they can't check if their pitch is right or another problem is people will rush they'll rush notes too quickly the great thing about this is it forces you to take each note very slowly okay it forces you to stay give each note its equal value you'll notice there's no rhythm given on these there's no timing given to the notes and that's on purpose because a big problem in singing is that people don't notice the notes because they go by too quickly some notes okay and that's the hardest thing so what this does is forces you to see and hear every note and give it equal attention the same way you would if you were going to learn this on piano or guitar you would learn each note individually and then you would tie them together okay but because it's singing it's hard to hear the notes because they go by so quick all right and you think you know the lyrics so you think you know how to sing it and you don't realize that you're missing all these notes so this helps you focus on every note make sure you don't miss any notes okay and make sure you don't go too fast too soon and make sure your notes are steady instead of shaky okay hope it's been extremely helpful for you guys please purchase this app work as hard as you can on it okay think of all your favorite songs get to work on it and it's going to be so good uh, trust me you're going to make so much development with this it's going to be ridiculous you're going to see your you're going to see your pitch like never before and you're going to sound really beautiful because guess what sounding beautiful is all about singing the correct notes 
very accurately. Watch the piano. The piano is never wrong. Watch how beautiful it sounds. Look at the piano pitch. You can see it. It's getting marked. It's perfectly in the center every time. It never sounds off key. It can't. It's been digitally programmed to be perfectly in tune every time it plays. And that's what you're trying to teach your voice to do. Be perfectly in tune and minimize your flat and sharp notes as you sing songs. Using the phrases of your songs instead of just doing exercises to a CD that have nothing to do with your favorite song. Okay, that's the problem. When you're training with CDs and stuff, it's not the melody of your song. It doesn't have the lyrics of your song. How are you going to tie those lyrics to the right notes and do the right intervals and the right changes, okay? So yes, you can do exercises if you want. It's, it's fun to learn the exercises, it's like learning the ABCs, do you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you do have to do your songs, and I've designed a way for you to do that. Hope you guys enjoy. Bye.